Hi, uh, I'm Klee and I'm going to talk today about intellectual property uh, and how it relates to the secret world. So first of all we need to understand what intellectual property is. You can google it and get thousands of different answers but when you break it down basically intellectual property is anything that belongs to someone uh, which is their individual creation. Uh, so that can include art, writing, music, uh, even inventions. Uh, basically if you came up with it, it is your intellectual property. Uh, so when we look at it like that, uh, the secret world is uh, the intellectual property of Funcom. Um, and it is the, uh, a horror MMORPG set in uh, the real world, but where all the conspiracies um, that you hear of are true. Uh, things that go bump in the night are real. Um, yeah, that is the intellectual property that makes up the secret world. Now, recently, there have been items uh, that have been making their way into game that don't necessarily seem to gel with the uh, intellectual property as it was originally set out. We've had people farting rainbows if they give uh, five gifts to other players. We've had uh, some pretty crazy clothing items like the uh well meters murder that was a pretty weird one um we've had uh the eye boobs but i think that was removed i don't think you can get them anymore um, um i'm trying to think of some of the other weirder ones there's uh oh yes there's the uh, the ones that make you look like a giant gold or black comdom i forgot what they're called but they're in there as well uh, that's more my own personal taste though um, and to me oh we've also got sprints as well we've got the hoverboards which um, I know people are putting down to being a Orochi, Orochi tech but uh, it seems a little bit sci-fi ish to me um, and we've also got um, the we've got the, the motorbikes that either sort of fart cash or, or flames. I've never encountered a motorbike that does that. Maybe I'd like a motorbike that farts cash. I know lots of motorbikes cost a lot of cash, um, particularly the upkeep of them, but <laughs> uh, to me, a lot of these items don't fit the intellectual property of, uh, you know, uh, the, the secret world. And, Bear in mind, this is how I view the intellectual property of the secret world. So it might be that Funcom has a very different image and a very different idea of what its intellectual property is. But I'm not sure that they do because a few years back, uh, there was a bit of a, an incident, shall we say. They, uh, for April Fools, they introduced an outfit called gender equality. People were complaining that the female outfits were too skimpy. You couldn't get any sensible female outfits. They were always showing off skin, all the skin. And the male outfits, you had the opposite problem. They were all sort of, you, there was never any skin, you know, apart from maybe on the arms when you got a t-shirt. Um, and so Funcom decided as a bit of a joke, let's make um, an outfit for, called gender equality and you had for the females you basically had diving suit which covered up pretty much all of the uh, the female character and for the males they made a mankini oh it, the image of it still haunts me if you're not familiar with what a mankini is don't google it don't just don't remain blissfully ignorant um, but let's just say it's not pretty. It shouldn't... Oh, no. Um, and after a while, oh, very shortly, actually, a uh, very short period of time, they decided that this did not fit the intellectual property and the items were removed from the characters, removed from the store, and people who'd bought them uh, were given back their money 
and they were also given the deep mystery box as a way of saying sorry and Funcom basically put their hands up and said yeah this is a bit of an April Fool's joke that went badly wrong we didn't expect people to buy it but you know put it out there people will buy it as evidenced by unicorns the thing that sort of made me uh, wonder is uh, can an intellectual property change over time? Is it something that is always static? Because it might be for, say, a piece of music or a piece of writing, something that is set in stone, but with something like an MMO, it's, um, it, it's constantly evolving. And even though, you know, back sort of two, three years ago when Mankini Gate happened, um, they decided this wasn't fitting the intellectual property. N now, those same people don't seem to be making a fuss. Now, it might be they're not there anymore, or it might be that they feel that the intellectual property has changed enough that you can incorporate some more fantastical outfits, shall we say. And so it might be that because the game is constantly developing, it's constantly changing, um, that there is now space for these more uh, strange outfits and it sort of seems to suggest to me that the the intellectual property has changed that the base sort of uh, line that i described earlier is perhaps not sort of what they're basing their decisions on anymore and that they have some other view um which would be nice if they'd share over you know share with the rest of us because particularly those who sort of bought into the horror mmo based in the here and now because i'd love to know what their view of the intellectual property is because i just see unicorns and uh you know sort of uh, 80s clothes i mean the music i love the music from the 80s but let's be honest the clothing was terrible um, and it should be left in the 80s um, and there's been some really weird stuff and I, I if it's because the intellectual property has changed it would be nice for them to maybe just update it and let us know as players where they're coming from so what do you think do you think that uh, the intellectual property has changed do you think that there's space in the game for these more uh, crazy outfits um, and that maybe I'm just being a bit of a stalewart who, you know, doesn't like change, get off my lawn. Um, let me know in the comments below. As always, you can listen to our podcast where we will probably end up discussing this and other Secret World related issues over at secretpodcast.co.uk. Uh, and you can also leave comments there. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter for craziness at... Uh, I've forgotten my name. Uh, Klee underscore sanctuary um, and yes I think that will be it before I start going red at the ears and getting very very angry so until next time uh, this is me talking about stuff